Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabe with another fan TV. Back at you another video. And uh, I was on Bleach Report. I saw an article, one player that the Ravens should trade for, right? Um, but before we get to that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep running it up. Almost at 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. But look, so I saw that uh, article, right? And I thought it was interesting. So I decided to go in and read it. And the player that he mentioned was Terry McLaurin. Now, we know the Ravens and wide receivers and everybody around the league is down on the wide receiver core. So when we see a Ravens trade, they're most likely going to suggest we trade for a wide receiver. You know, that's just what's going to happen. But Terry McLaurin is interesting, right? He's one of the better receivers in the NFL. And also what was interesting was in the article that they mentioned was the last two players that held out for the Commanders or the Washington team, you know, uh, was Trent Williams and Albert Hainsworth. And both guys were traded soon after their holdout. Uh, not like right away, but within, I think it's like a year or so after their holdout, they were traded. Which is which is pretty soon, you know? All right. But if the Ravens were to trade for Terry McLaurin, would that be a good move bad move, right? Um, for me, obviously, that's a good move because he's the kind of guy that the Ravens need. Um, he's only 26 years old, 6 foot, 210 pounds, so good size. Speed, deep threat, and he's been a wide receiver one for a team already. You know, he's had that kind of pedigree already on him. Now, if we look at his career, um, we could say that he's had 2,000 yard uh, seasons, and his rookie year, he had 900 yards. And we're talking about a rotation of pretty bad quarterback play Alex Smith, Taylor Heineke. Um, the list goes on and on of Washington QBs that he's played with that haven't been really. That good now imagine him with lamar jackson right but we also got to talk about the contract now why is terry mcclaurin in this situation right uh, he's a third round pick 2019 and he's up it's time for him to get paid okay now the wide receiver market this offseason especially has exploded Devontae adams cooper cub tyree kill big name guys getting getting paid get, getting paid big money that we didn't really see to go to receivers like that before now, me personally, I think this all kind of goes back to the Christian Kirk contract that the Jaguars gave him. After Christian Kirk got that contract, I think other wide receivers around the NFL looked up and said, wait a minute, Christian Kirk getting that? I need to be wait making way more than Christian Kirk is making. Okay. And uh, the Jaguars, that's, that's what they do. The Jaguars overspend in the offseason. So I think this time it caused a major ripple effect across the wide receiver market. Now you're seeing more guys want to up their contract and, and you know, get paid more money. Now, for Terry McLaurin, it's happened to be that his time is pretty much coming up right now to get paid. You know, with being a third-round pick, he gets to come to the table a little earlier than, uh, say, a guy who was a first-round pick and, he, you know, he doesn't have that fifth-year option attached to him, right? Now, Terry McLaurin, um, I guess the, the, the biggest knock on him would be the fact that, obviously, he's had success, but that's attributed to winning. But I'm not going to put that on him. He's a wide receiver, on a bad team. I'm not going to put that all on him. Um, and also the fact that he hasn't scored a lot of touchdowns. He's only scored 16 touchdowns in three seasons. Now, I don't really see that as the biggest issue because I think that kind of links back to the QB play. I think he was here with a quarterback like Lamar Jackson. That touchdown number will obviously go up. Um, I think the most he scored in the season is um, maybe like six. Oh, let me look at that right quick. Seven. He scored seven um, touchdowns his rookie season. So he scored seven touchdowns, four touchdowns, five touchdowns so far in his career. Right? But he's still a good player. I mean, the one playoff game he did play when they played the Buccaneers a couple years ago, he had six catches for 75 yards. So he showed up in a big game when they needed him. And um, I already made a video about the Ravens trading for DK Metcalf, right? Um, it's about. It's not really about the wide receiver name. It's about the fact that this shows an intent for the Ravens to go all in. Now, when I say that, I don't mean the Ravens trade for anybody and everybody. But there's a certain kind of guy out there that's available that the Ravens should be targeting. Okay? Um, Terry McLaurin, DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel. These kind of guys that could change your roster if you were to bring them on board. And definitely, the Ravens team that has only really one missing link is a real, true, proven wide receiver. Now, Ravens obviously have an issue on pass rush, but I think trading for wide receiver is more likely than trading for a guy on, on, on the defensive line that would 
uh, boost the ceiling of this team. Okay. Now, compensation, right? You're not going to get Terry McCorn for free. What can you get Terry McCorn for, right? And they were saying in the article that A.J. Brown kind of set the market for a guy like Terry McCorn. A.J. Brown went for a first and a third. Now, if the Ravens can part ways with a first and a third with Terry McLaurin, I will be all over that. If that's all it took for the commanders to release him, um, I'll be all over that, honestly. Because think about it like this. The Ravens have good depth at pretty much every position on this team. So if they go into it, the draft next year for a first round, what are they really looking to draft? Probably a wide receiver or probably an edge rusher. And maybe not even really an edge rusher because when Bowser and Ojabo come back, that position that was a weakness is going to be a strength. So really, the only position that they probably will draft uh, if we're projecting the head is a wide out. So instead of taking a guy who might take a couple years to develop, get a guy who's ready right now. And then I don't want to hear the Raven, Ravens fans' favorite line, which is, well, we pay Terry McLaurin. How are we going to afford to pay Lamar Jackson? How are we going to afford to pay anybody else? The same way other teams do it, Okay. We got to get out of this idea that having a player on a big-time contract means you can't pay anybody else. The Ravens have Marcus Williams on a big-time big time contract. They have Ballin Humphrey on a big-time contract. The Ravens have players on big-time contracts, right? So when the, when the Ravens played Marlon Humphrey, right, did that stop them from getting Errol Thomas? Did that stop them getting from Marcus Williams? No. They make, they figured out a way to make it work. But it's like when we, figured, when we had to figure out a way to make it work on offense – Ravens fans, they, they start to shudder, like, oh, my gosh. How are we going to play two big-time offensive players? We just can't do it. No, it's too much money. We got to get out that mindset. It's a new NFL. Money's fine all over the field, all, all across, okay? So, Steve Bashotti, the owner, he's serious about winning, right? This is how you do it. You make a statement that you're willing to kick the cap down the line a little bit and pay for a guy who will take your team to the next level. And that's what Terry McLaurin can do. All right, he's one of the better receivers in the NFL right now. He's stuck in a bad situation in Washington. And honestly, um, just besides the money point, I would be looking to get out if I was him just to play on a winning team. If I can get paid and play on a winning team, I'm all over that if I'm Terry McLaurin, right? Um, but there's been no um, official trade requests made by him. It's just he's holding up, right? And um, but what I want to say about his 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 game, okay, consistent hands, he can win on every level on every route in the route tree, okay, and also he's durable, fourteen games, fifteen games, seventeen games. So the most games he's missed in the season has been two games, man. This guy's tough, tough, tough receiver, and he's a willing blocker and he can separate against man coverage. Terry McLaurin has a lot of things well, a lot of things that the Ravens need. And he'll provide, uh, like I said before, that kind, of, that kind of deep threat that the Ravens need. Okay? Now, if you line up Bateman on one side and McClellan on the other side, now you have two guys who can go deep, two guys who can go intermediate, like two guys who could do it all. And as Ravens fans, we got to stop being scared of getting multiple guys that are explosive on offense. On defense, we love it. Sign all the corners, sign all the pass rushers, sign all the linebackers. But as soon as we say... Get some more weapons on offense. We say, whoa, wait a minute. Now, we don't we don't want to do that. We don't want to spend that kind of money. You got to get out that mindset. All right? Championship teams are spending money, and especially when you have Lamar Jackson. The biggest reason. Show him your intent. Show him that you're serious about building a team around him that can compete with the others. Think of a trio of uh, 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 Mark Andrews, Terry McLaurin, and Rashad Bateman around Lamar Jackson. That sounds amazing. So anyway, I saw this article. I want to make a video about it because, uh, like I said, if you see these trade articles, more than likely they're going to say the Ravens should trade for wide receiver. So if the Ravens are going to do that, why not make it a splash and make it somebody like Terry McLaurin? It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the Fan TV. I'm out.